this is the Soma Let's Play. Now, um, Soma just came out and a lot of people have been waiting to play it, I'm sure. Uh, it's the latest game. Sorry about the camera here. I'm just trying to adjust it to the best capture my face here. Um, it just came out and uh, I didn't realize it was out until now. I am really looking forward to playing this. It's from the same makers as Amnesia, The Dark Descent, which was a great game a couple years back. It's about time uh, the company put out a new game. Um, all I really know about it is that it's underwater and you're trying to solve, I think, some kind of mystery underwater with a lot of psychological craziness going on with a little more of a sci-fi modern feel to it instead of uh, the 19th century style that Amnesia was in. Um, so I, I usually don't look up games that I'm wanting to play because I want to make it as fresh as possible and go into a blind, especially horror games. Uh, I've heard it's not as jump scary as Amnesia, but uh, we'll see about that. Um, I've heard it's a lot more atmospheric. And Amnesia was atmospheric as well as having genuine scares. I'm sure this has both as well. So let's get started. That's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah, ah. <laughs> Christ. Flashback to it in a car accident or something? Yeah, I hear ya. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan, I remember. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> okay. So I got brain injury somehow. That starts off just dandy then. Why was I sleeping in full clothing? It's not full clothing. Oh, okay. Yep, that's from Amnesia for sure. <laughs> okay, yep. Cool. Okay. Sunglasses. Yeah. Pretty good physics engine. Be able to pick things. Where did I put the tracer fluid? Okay, it's rock music. I was like, are we starting that early with scare crap? Jeez. Mark and Diana Miller finally caught a break. They managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. Since it's over Waikiki Beach on first day. It's thin strikes you from somewhere below the waves. It's in the dark water, so get out of harm's way. It's kind of just two your balls. Huh. Weird. I wonder if it has anything to do with the overarching story or not. So that's book one, so I wonder if there's multiple books. Okay, let's pull it out. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? I don't want to see the radioactive tracer fluid yet. I don't want to explore your place here, dude. Hey, Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you, mean it. End of messages. I swear, that guy has the memory of a goldfish. <laughs> I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? I don't know, you're a little crazy, dude. Okay. I 
which I think is make this one. Is there another light in here somewhere? My goodness, how dark do you keep this place? There's a light. I was wondering. this. Whoa. Does the guy just take photos, I guess? Oh, that's a cool one. I love macro photography like that. I'd love to get into stuff like that. But cameras are so expensive. Oops. <laughs> Oops. They're so expensive. Lenses Some are even more expensive. Oops. Oops. Alright, I'm done destroying the camera. So I'm Canada, eh? I wonder how I'm gonna end up underwater from here. I wonder if I'm just gonna go crazy. So. Oh, I forgot to hit send. So I own a bookstore or something as well. Better late than never. That's a sick treatment though. Got a nice mom at least. He's definitely a photographer. Okay, I'm guessing, okay. So that's me, I'm assuming. That's the girl I emailed, but and that's their store in the background, Grimoire. Doctor's office stuff. So I'll like just read things that are a little bit weirder, like handwritten stuff. Can you stop making noises? I didn't even press you. Massive recoil. <laughs> Should have massive recoil. Mass recoil. What is this? This is the next 
Fox. Could be, I don't know. Ooh, another light. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Nothing but fast food. Should buy something healthier on my way home. Mm, yeah, this would be my fridge if I lived alone. A funeral? Oh, probably the girl who died in the car with me. That's what I bet happened. I guess there was a girl in the car. I bet she died. I love how interactive the game is. Like, this is gonna make it really fun to check things out. I hate when you can't interact with anything in a game. <laughs> yeah, lots of fast food, that's for sure. Those noises, like, I know that this isn't, like, where things are gonna happen yet, but still. Can I open you? No? Okay. These keys. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom and find it. Meds. Where did I put the meds? You'd think they'd be in the medicine cabinet, but my guy does have brain injuries. So. right so actually that was either his significant other or a friend of some sort So you're holding on the rise. Yeah, okay. Weird. I don't get why that stays upside down though. Okay, let's open the lines. Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Yeah, well, you know, I do too, but you're gonna be underwater somehow. Situation. Right, rather uh, mundaneness. Unless, of course, it's all going to end up being in this guy's head. Something ridiculous. I really should drink the tracer fluid before yeah, I go see Dr. Munchie. I don't know where you left it, though.
stupid with the liquid, dude. Like, seriously. There it is. Feels like milk, but the taste, it's like sucking on a penny. Yummy. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the doctor. Doctor. Okay. What's up? There was a guy who feared the walking bit tonight that looks like that guy. <laughs> it was weird. There's a suit and stuff. Hey, ignore. <laughs> Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Uh, Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. <laughs> Dying thing? <laughs> You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. Don't find me in a voting booth. All a big setup. Uh, well, hey. Yeah, sure, dude. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Oh, this is a wonderful beginning. Where is everyone? I thought this place would be busy. Seriously, this is how it's gonna start out already with some creepiness because doctor's office is all s what the like kind of a cool art style. Kind of abstractish. behind the desk. Watch what's going on here. There's a code that I'm gonna need. I can already tell that. There's the note. Where's your note? I'm gonna read this, so skip ahead if you want. I, I like to read everything.
that's like a real idea and they This is the place, right? It must be. Uh, Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. And his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. I think you're going insane already, buddy. I don't think any of this is real. That's what I'm going off of on free. So far, brain injury, GS, and stuff. Wow, that light does a lot of good. I love like cool stuff like that. Okay, where is your note, dude? A note or something. Dr. Munchie? Can you hear me? To Hello? Alright, we need a code. Yeah, I know. I haven't found a code though, dude. Freaking code. Oh, hey, people. They look weird. Those big slender men walking around down there. Trucks moving so slow. Okay. Um. Where? Oh, what did you code up there? If I get stuck on just this... Housekeeping. Why are you telling me to run right now in a hallway? That's never... Just no. I don't want to run.
Frame. Oh. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Yeah, let me uh, look around your place here. Something already just puts me off about that guy. Like, he just looks kind of goony. In fact, I was like, no, I'm not a doctor. But, you know, I'll mess with your brain. Let's sit in the chair and I wonder if this is where we get transported to our crazy place. All right, let me just get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Yes, Toronto, sir. Canada, Munchie. Okay. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will well, this hurt? It's just a scan. Something It'll hurt about as much that. as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Say cheese. Something's gonna come down the hall. Just a brain scan. That seems a little bit more than just a brain scan. What happened? You're going crazy, dude. The machine is. Hello? Mr. Munchie? Did something go wrong? I cannot see that. This isn't funny. How did I get here? <laughs> I think it's all in your mind, dude. Took a 
sharp, sharp turn. Really quick. better than expected. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can. Rather not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comm center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. How did I do that? This is all probably an analogy for your insanity. Be like an analogy for like the disease in his head or something, or the injuries, to my opinion at least. Oh, whoa, what? What? Hey you, can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down.
busted out of it. There. And of course, I have to follow him because he'll be the only way forward. around here and he's going to try to kill me. There's no way he's not around here. I think he's, I think he's big, too. Like, I thought it was a robot, but it was so dark. Okay. 
Service console up to room three, including pilot seat activated. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not gonna happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't wanna get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't wanna hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Okay. Good. 
chip security cipher. Updated. What was that? It, it doesn't hurt anymore. Thank you. 
there. Hey, can you hear me? Is there anyone there? Hey, hey, can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it, was, it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you... Ah, oh, so... damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, 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 some place dealing with electrical power. I I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh... Yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look, this place is not... There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Some more. Anyway. 